Now for some of you guys out there, there might come this question that why do we need a complex set of gears on the rover which is the counter rotating differential and how does it affect the performance of the rover. So to answer the question, let's compare the scenarios. In the first situation, we've got an asymmetric ramp with no differential on the rover to see how it will perform in case there is no differential. Let's check it out. Well clearly there seems to be some problem. First of all the deck is wobbling like shit. Then we can notice that the back wheels are at times elevated and it looks nasty. That also means that not all the wheels are in contact with the ground at the same time which means less attraction because you don't get to use all of your potential. So that's the thing with no differential. Now let's observe how the rover would perform on the same ramp but this time with the differential. Yeah, this time the movement seemed to be buttery smooth. There is some wobbling on the deck, but it's comparatively highly lesser. Plus the best thing is that it manages to keep all the six wheels in contact with the ground at any point in time. And that means better traction and is a better design. Yeah, so that is why you need a counter-rotating differential on a rocker bogey.